it's just for like a second you're just free in the air. It's about progressing yourself I think, like you just try and think about how you're progressing and where you want to be. 15-year-old Kirsty Muir is unquestionably progressing up the freestyle skiing ranks. The four-time British indoor champion from Aberdeen in Scotland enjoyed an impressive 2019 in the big air and slope style events. I've got a few great achievements, I think. I went to the Europa Cups, uh, I went to three of them, and I came second in two of them and first in the other. And then um, in April, the uh, I went to the Junior Worlds in Sweden and I came second in the slope style and third in the big air. Making the podium twice at the Junior World Championships last year didn't come as a surprise to GB Freeski head coach Jamie Matthew. It's massively impressive but it, it happened so much that we almost, it's a bit underwhelming and that it's quite bad because you know it should be massively celebrated but we're just like oh yeah cool another, you know, another international podium for Kirsty because she's at that level. That is pretty much day in, day out for her. We have to take a step back at times and be like, wait a minute, you know, this is something extra special. Kirsty first learnt to ski when she was four. At her local dry slope in Aberdeen, she saw a jump on one of the slopes and was keen to try it. Her love for freestyle ski was born and she would go on to impress the likes of Jamie Matthew and GB Snow Sport. You know, you, you just hear through, through word of mouth really that, you know, there was this young girl from Aberdeen, I think she was maybe eight or nine at the time, that, you know, had real good promise, looked really good for her age and started, I think, just to compete on some of the British, you know, indoor tours and stuff like that and was, was pretty much on the, every single podium. You know, stats like that grab your attention, so it was pretty much word of mouth. Uh, went up to Aberdeen, you know, was lucky to see it for myself. Kirsty is now old enough to compete on the freestyle ski World Cup circuit. The teenager was out in Austria recently, perfecting her tricks at Prime Park sessions on Stubai Glacier. She has worked with her coach Joe Tyler since she was 11 and has often been the only female training in his group. This last year she progressed so much and that's something that's kind of inspiring to watch because it's not just, she's not backed down, she's done the same as what the boys are doing and she's put herself in that position to actually try it and that's the bit where it's kind of, it stands out, you know, that's the bit where you're looking at going, wow, she can, she's not backing down, she's not afraid to go and give it a go and I think that's the bit that keeps her progressing as, as she is and, and doing as well. Trampolining is another great way for Kirsty to try out new spins and work on her style. I think it's really good to do the trampolining. You just get a bit more uh, air awareness and you can build the tricks that you want for the snow and get a feel for them and build them on the trampoline before trying them. So it's really good. I, I enjoy it. Off the slopes, the teenager's time is taken up by homework. She's currently studying towards her Scottish National 5 exams. I've got the exams this year, so I'm just going to have to keep doing work and just keep in touch with the teachers and things and just work as much as I can on it. Interestingly, as a character, she's an out-and-out -out competitor, I think, in everything, and she's just as determined to do well at school as she is on skis, so I think, you know, the strong determination to succeed and do as best she can in everything she does is a huge testament to you know the character that she is and the potential she's got because if you've got that at 15 years old you know it's only going to get stronger as you become more of an adult She's a nutter. <laughs> Absolute nutter, but she's in good company. I think we're all a bit crazy in this sport, so uh, yeah, 
you know, some of the conversations or what goes on during the day, you just, you know, if, if people were listening on the outside, they'd just think, you know, where have these people come from? <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's a lot of fun. It is a lot of fun and uh, yeah, it keeps me involved, which is good. And um, yeah, they're, they're fun to be around and it's a good sport. In the short term, the 15 year old has qualified and is hoping to compete at her first Winter Youth Olympics in Switzerland later this month. While in the long term, she has her eyes set on the senior version of the Winter Games, which are due to be held in Beijing in 2022. Nice control at the end. So basically in the next, in the next, well, two years, we've got quite some big events coming up. So we've got starting in August, in 2020, Olympic qualification starts. So that's an 18 month period of where it goes through to Beijing in 2022. Um, so that's where we're looking at kind of building towards. She's gonna be in a really good spot to kind of contest and do well, especially, you know, Beijing time. Um, I think she'll do pretty well. I think she'll, she'll manage all right. I think she'll qualify for no problem. And then it just comes down to the day, how everything pans out on that. I mean, I would really love to compete at some of the big events, but again, I just really want to push myself and try and build some of the tricks that I really want to do and stuff, yeah.